Are you a self-help junkie and you jump into every book, podcast, webinar because you're just so desperate but nothing changes? Here are three habits that you are not doing. Number one is Wim Hof inspired. Little backstory, Wim Hof's wife suffered from mental illness and she committed suicide and he was left with four small children. And he said that the cold, called to him and you know what a badass he is now and so i used to have a seriously negative relationship with the cold so i decided that i was going to figure out what this cold plunging thing was all about and i was a huge sissy grew up in southern california hated the cold hands always like ice cubes and i was miserable if it got under like 75 degrees i learned from the best your life will be changed immediately because when you are in such cold water that you can only focus on your breath, there's zero room for you to have anxiety. You are not pissed about your ex, it cheated on you. You are not worried about, oh my God, how am I gonna have mo enough money next month? It's impossible for you to do both because it zhoo, pulls you into the present moment. I started off in 13 degrees Celsius and I just listened to my body. So the most important thing is that you have a positive intention. Do not sit on the cold plunge and say, I hate the cold, I hate the cold, this is so miserable. Have a positive intention. So you're like, I love the cold. I'm just gonna focus on my breath. No big deal. The first 20 seconds are the most important. You wanna keep your breath smooth. You don't wanna lose it straight away. And just listen to your body. So I went in at 13 degrees Celsius with the positive intention. So I cross my arms across the chest, just like Wim Hof says, and I focus on my breath. And then I had a timer with me. So I started at a minute and then two minutes and then I could get up to five minutes, super easy. And now I can do three degrees, like such a boss. And this has changed my life. So if you suffer with anxiety, if you suffer with fear, if you feel like you're not good enough, cold plunge now. Number two is freedom. <sighs> the biggest complaint that I hear from women that I had myself is I feel so stuck I don't feel inspired. I'm playing small. It's like, oh, I'm in a soul-sucking job. How did I be in a relationship for five years and I don't even like the dude? And you just get really, really stuck. It's monotonous. It's the same thing, eating the same thing, doing the same workouts, same job, and blah. When we are little, all we're doing is learning and being curious and creative. And so we're constantly in this growth state. I was in such a rut. I was drinking. I was overweight. I was desperate for a dude. Same job, same workouts, eating the same thing, going to the same places every single day. I was like, yo, I need to mix it up and get some freedom. I have to grow. I'm doing the same thing. I haven't learned anything new in like 20 years. So I made a decision to move and learn a new skill. So I went to yoga teacher training as an adult. Now I continued this and started weightlifting and doing CrossFit, which was so out of my comfort zone because I really sucked. It was super uncomfortable and hard at first, but my brain, all these new neurons and this new energy lit up and then I had this new energy and then I felt stronger in my body in places that I never felt before. And then mentally, that totally gave me strength and it prepared me for my next venture as an entrepreneur. And that's like one of the reasons why I was so successful in my business and I continue to do this every single day. So I'm like, cool, in this state of freedom where I'm firing these new neurons, totally feeling curious and excited and everything feels like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. That just builds upon and creates this success and this confidence and this like energy that a person who sits and does the same thing every day doesn't have. Get free. And the third habit is eating raw liver. Never thought I could do this. Was so grossed out doing it the first time. I was like, and sweat was dripping down my back. Just the thought of it was disgusting. So I've mastered a way to do it to where it's really fun and yummy for me now. So I was actually exposed to this from Liver King and everyone was all like, he's on steroids. This is before he came clean. But I was like, I don't care, I've researched it. And liver and organs are the most nutrient dense food. And there are some things that I wanna do. I wanna like freaking 10X my energy. I want all these amazing side effects. I wanna get younger every day, not, oh, I'm aging, so uh. So the raw liver has had such a beautiful effect. My sleep has been amazing, recovery, 
epic. This burst of energy, it's like such a beautiful natural form of caffeine. It feels so good. There's so many good things in there. Just the list goes on and on. So raw liver, I know it's scary, but here's a little hack. I cut it up into cubes. I put it in a Tupperware in the freezer and then I take it out and you can sprinkle salt or maple syrup or raw honey on it and it's delicious and it will pump you up, you. If you're with me and you're ready to quantumly uplevel your life, then sis, check out this four minute video because it's gonna blow your socks off.